Apparently there's a problem with Brick Packer. I posted about it on Instagram, um, but if you, uh, oh wait, this is already after the vlog's been released. I guess I'll try and put this clip in the vlog, um, even though I've already started the download for the others. Uh, so I'll put this at the beginning of the vlog just so anyone can see it, even though this is at, uh, at the end of the vlog when I'm already editing it. Uh, but if you have, if you use Brick Packer, it might affect other uh, syncing programs as well. Currently, there is an issue with syncing uh, inventory and stuff like that. It's, uh, for me, it showed up the error, error downloading BrickLink inventory, last items, and others are having some issues with access tokens. What's this new post here? Yep, several people have emailed the admin on BrickPacker and stuff like that. So if you use a uh, syncing program, make sure to quickly check uh, to see if everything's working. I personally closed my Brick Owl store right now until this is resolved, just so I don't have any issues. And so yeah, make sure to check up on your stuff right now. So now I'm going to try to put all these in order, and just because it seems to take a while and my brain goes numb, I'll just play some random games while working on this and see how much I can get done. Just finished putting the clips in order. My brain just went completely haywire because they all looked the same and there was like almost no pattern to what they were in. Like I had to scroll all the way down for one, then like three quarters of the way up for the second one, then down here for the third, then up here to the fourth. And it was just completely haywire and it's for almost 70 clips. So yeah, it doesn't look like 70 clips right here, but this is about 70 clips right here. So yeah, and then I'm, I mean, I'm looking, there's no way to sort this by file name or anything like that. So unless I'm just going crazy and I'm missing something, there's just no way to do this unless I upload one video at a time or just a few at a time, which honestly might be a good idea in the future uh, because it's just, there's no order that it gets put into. It's just completely crazy. So now I've got to edit the 52 minute vlog. I'll probably fast forward through parts as I edit. But the good news is um, I don't want to show any information just confirming there's nothing here. Alrighty, the Lego package is finally out for delivery today. So that'll be nice. And uh, probably the next clip you see will probably be that because it's been out for delivery since 8 a.m. and it's currently 5 p.m. so it might be delivered already but I'm gonna go check now and just walk around try and give my brain a rest from the computer for a minute. It's been like a couple of weeks now but ClipChamp changed their thing for rotating stuff. They used to have like a thing up here where you could click transform and then just rotate the video and then you just click it once and for me it would work all the time but they changed it now and so every time I select a video to rotate it I have to rotate it once rotate it twice, rotate it three times, and then fill to get it the equivalent of what I would only have to do rotate once and then fill once before. So then I have to do that because I record things like, and the footage is always like sideways for like 25 to 50% of all the clips. So I just have to do that every single time for all the clips. Just got the Lego stuff in the mail, got all five of the packs, plus the uh, promotional thing. I know it, it probably could have worked it around to get two of these, but since I was just ordering only this because I was kind of broke and didn't have much money for anything else right now because it's tax payment quarterly installment thing, which I'm doing today, um... I was only able to get this here, so I was at least able to get one of those. Then I probably won't list these right away once I'm done with the vlog. I'll probably first part those guys out because it's a bit more fun to just part stuff out than uh, list used parts. So I don't think I'll be really getting any more of these in the mail. I'm going to try to get another five when they might have one more day of availability because these things are like slated for retirement at the end of the year and they've only been like available for like three days so it's a bit uh, interesting on this one here some people are saying there's some production issues with them and so they just didn't really have much of a shelf life and like was just trying to get rid of them uh like not get rid of them but not try to continue because of the issues that they're having wonder what they could be because they seem to be very popular um it's not going to be a massive money maker like these minifigures sell for about 10 bucks a piece and it's 19 dollars for a pack but there's also other good pieces in here so i mean it's easy double triple turnaround i mean i could hold them for retirement but i just kind of want to get them listed and uh, parted out just so i can get some new parts in the store and then i'll part this guy out as well i think there is five skeletons in here which is really good then there's some printed parts which is good then there's uh what's that Oh, I thought that was a spider for a second, but it's not. But then there's just overall good stuff in here. This is a really nice uh, promotional pack, so that'll be fun to part out. And I am currently only 13 minutes done editing the vlog.
I was editing the vlog and then all of a sudden I looked down and then a spider's just crawling down from the roof again. I caught it in the box. Like, really? Why? It's the one spot on the roof right here. There's just like infinite spiders from there. Just had the spider removed. So I don't know what I'd do if I lived on my own. So glad uh, someone's always here to kill the spiders. That's why whenever I eventually live here alone, I'm going to invest. I don't care how much it costs to make this entire house spider proof and so now i'm going to get back to editing the vlog i think i skipped a clip or two because i couldn't pause it in time because it was crawling all around the base of my computer and everything and so yeah it was just not fun but at least it's gone now and i can get back to work it's now 7 41 p.m i just finished editing the vlog because the internet outage and then i feel like there's something else i got distracted by but i can't really remember now anymore and so i finally finished editing the vlog and now i'm just exporting it i don't know if i'll have time to export the vlog and upload it because uh upload it to youtube and let youtube process it in hd i'm still gonna try but I don't know. Oh yeah, I was doing taxes stuff. I mean, I didn't take all day, but it got me distracted a whole bunch because I was filing my quarterly GSD HST return for the taxes that I'm estimating I'll have collected this year or something like that. And so it's always a pain when that day shows up because I don't really leave any money in reserve. I know I should, but I'm just not really someone who does that much. I know I will in the future, but right now every penny I get gets uh, put back into the store. So uh, yeah, so but now while that's uh exporting or processing it or whatever it is i'm going to part these guys out and get a taste of what it'll be like when i get to only part out new sets in the future which is still a while away but i am going to get there as fast as i can by listing all of the used stuff and i just realized i have to get a thumbnail for the video i'll probably use these for the thumbnail for the video because i honestly can't really think of anything else so i guess i'll just use these for the thumbnail then just found these two parts. I post about it on Instagram. I'm not sure if these would qualify as misprints. You can kind of see, I'm not, I think on this one, yeah. On this one, the print is on the one side of the fin. It's a bit more noticeable in person than it is in the video. And this one is overall more noticeable. Uh, let's see if I can get the uh, plastic out of the way. It is noticeably over the uh, one side of the fin as opposed to your standard one which looks like that. So I just posted about asking if it looks like a misprint. If uh, you think these are misprints, feel free to let me know. And I'll uh, take a look, uh, see what to do with them then. Was working on adding the inventory stuff when I realized, I, well, I noticed it earlier, but I just remembered now that the one clone trooper never actually had an inventory. So I just confirmed that none of its parts were waiting to be added by checking the um, all the ones listed with the 61189 and then a star at the end there's two similar ones but they are even though similar they're different you can see by uh the one this part is one print not two separate ones and then this one here it's more of a dark bluish gray or light bluish gray lines or as it calls it markings and on the new one it's black so i'll have to add it as a new entry and then i'll add it in a relation with the other two so that it'll be a similar pattern just so there's no confusion in the future and then i'll most likely have to add the torso as well although it might already be in the catalog i haven't checked for it yet there's a lot of similar clone torsos so i'll have to make extra sure when listing it trying to finish adding the inventory and stuff but now it seems to be circling forever because i first added the one part to the catalog but then i realized i had left it in the minifigure torso de uh decorated complete like assembly for when you have uh one second let me get it up here um well now this one's loading as well oh well yes brick link is secure i don't need to worry about that but everything's running slow and I accidentally deleted the complete assembly when I went to delete the partial assembly, like the torso without arms. And so then I went to add it back and then I added the first one back and then I deleted the one that I intended to delete. And so now I was adding that one back. Okay, that one finally went through. And so then this one's gone through now. It deleted the uh, old version of this that had it in the wrong category because this here is the correct category for just the torso. It's minifigure torso. But I had accidentally listed it under minifigure torso assembly decor, which is uh, short form for decorated. And so then I accidentally deleted that one. And so I had to add that one back. But this one's added back now, finally. And so I've got the photo I took up. And that's all good there. 
and now I can upload this image and then I can create the inventory for, I was just using this for size and weight references. And now I can add the inventory. Where is that again? Market, add inventory <clears throat> for part. Then I can grab this here, paste, and then I add C01. And then I need three entries because you put the pair of arms with the torso. Oh wait, I think I, how is that stuff done again? Where's an example? Okay, let's just grab this guy's thing. For example, this is how much fun it is trying to add things to the Bricklink catalog. So it's C01, but I thought I added that. Uh, oh wait, I, part, I thought I already clicked that. So then C01, and then I need three entries. So now go to step two. Oh wait, no, I can't add the inventory for that until the other thing's been added. Okay, so I don't know what I was trying to do there because I have to wait for that to be approved before I can add the inventory for it. I don't know why I thought I could add the inventory before that part was approved. I think I'm just really confused by this, but I'm now done with all the photos for the part. And so then these are all way over here and then I've got them over here. I got the two possible misprints up there. Well, I think of what to do with them. And so now I can get back to listing this set. That took like half hour to take the photographs and inventory the minifigure and stuff like that because I didn't have a proper setup or anything like that. Normally it's way faster, but since there's a one-off thing, it just took longer. And so now I can get to parting out this set the rest of the way. And then with all that commotion, I completely forgot about the vlog. And so that now is uh, finished processing. So now I'm going to have to try to upload that in about two hours to YouTube in HD. When, but HD is always a complete throw up in the air. Sometimes it takes an hour. Sometimes it takes three hours to process in HD. So I'll try to now work on this here. I have to first find the clip champ thing, which is where did I skip it? No, why is it not show all files? Um, this PC, no, because I'm looking for the full vlog, so then I go to, where is it, downloads, because it downloads it to the computer, and then I have to scroll down to ClipChamp, where it's made with ClipChamp, um, I cannot find this thing, I'm probably complete. oh yeah, right here. Untitled video made with ClipChamp. So that was done at 8.56 p.m. Okay, so I didn't miss it by too much, but 20 minutes. I'll try to get this guy uploaded. I can now exit this, and then that's 42. Yep, that's all correct there. And now I can start making the thumbnail, and I just reuse the details of a previous one to get the main information. And then I just have to go click uh, that. Then I switch the vlog number. And then I have to think of a title. Uh, I'll just call it New Monitor right here. And then I'll go work on the thumbnail now. Just putting uh, parts away from the sets now, like the uh, clone command stations or boxes are in the recycle. So then I just, uh, first I enter all the details for the new ones. So these here are all new. And then the minifigures. Lately I have... I was talking around with some other members and I've decided going forward I'm going to leave minifigures unassembled instead of assembling them. So I've got all of the unassembled minifigures here, minus the two possible misprints there. And then all the parts that I already have in my inventory, I just stack somewhere. Since there's so few, I just put them here. Normally I'll uh, line them up on this table or something like that. And so now I just go around and I go in order. Unfortunately, Bricklink doesn't have a sort by remarks feature. I think Brickstore does, but I don't really use it. I mean, I still have it installed, but I don't really use it. It's too confusing for me. And so then goes 25, 22. So I go bring these to drawer 25, 22, which is right here. Then I just dump them in, close it, and rinse and repeat for the rest of the stuff I already did a couple of them and just go down the list and do all of them real quick and then like mentioned previously all the stuff is priced at the six month sales average except for several parts which are the rarer more exclusive or more desirable parts so I did change the uh short blasters I might change the long blasters I haven't decided on that yet and I changed the price of the clones as well because they are going to be going up in value soon since the set will retire I think the cheapest for the same quantity 
in Canada for these for 17 bucks a piece right now. So I priced them at 16 and a half for 16.75 a piece for these. And then the uh, commander ones are only 12 and a half dollars a piece, which makes sense because people need more base soldiers than they do officers. I think those are officers. I can't remember. And so then I think those are the only ones I changed. See, so yeah, I might change the one other blaster one, but then everything else is at the six month sales average. So that's really nice to get things listed on a cheaper side for now. I've now got all of the parts put away. I still have this set to part out. I don't remember what this is worth. I'm actually going to look it up real quick. 40513 uh, price guide. 40513. $42. That's a pretty good add-on pack, if I dare say so. Um, if only I had more money to spend, I would have definitely wanted to get more of these. Plus, it would have been combined with the Ray the Castaway uh, set. So that's like really good promotions. Like those... <laughs> Uh, got these days so if only I could have gotten more of those but I can't so not going to complain I'm just going to list that one so uh, I'll add $42 to the total I'm in $107 on the five sets after tax um, from Lego the clone ones and then so I got this so the total of this plus $42 is the estimated return so $289 plus $42 that's like 330, so about a three time return rate, which is pretty good, I, I'd say, um, for a part out. So I've added the cool remarks, so it says new and assembled in a larger dark blue font, and I think it just looks nicer for like that, that like that for minifigures. So now I can upload these items to the inventory, and then I can go ahead, 40513, type that in. And then I'll also part this set out tonight. It's 941. I'm probably going to take a bit of a break tonight once I'm done this, so whenever I'm done this, I'll be calling it a day. Just finished with the uh, VIP add-on bag. I put three skeletons as complete minifigures uh, in the store, and then um, parted out three copies of the minifigure. So I did confirm with the checking uh, for items for no remarks that all of these have their remarks. And so now I can get these guys listed, although I just realized I might have accidentally priced those skeletons wrong. Um, let me just... VIP add-on. I might have changed the price or some, or not changed the price or something. I don't know. I might think I messed that up. I'm not sure because I parted some out, so I'll have to double check that after. But these guys, since I'm done with these sets, uh, can go away now because I won't be needing them. And so then I'll put all of this stuff on the cart. And then once it's all on the cart, I'll just close this thing because it's in the way. Still don't know how I broke this solid piece of wood here. Um, why is it? Oh, um, let's see. Oh, well, this thing does not want to close. Okay, let's try this again. Now it did. No idea why. Oh, well, I'm not going to complain. So now I can just bring these guys over here. And then I'll just first put the minifigure boxes away. We have box 26 or 25 right here. So I'll put that away, then I'll put 24 there, and then I'll put 23 back on top, and then I'll start putting all these guys away. Good news is I did get the vlog fully uploaded in HD now, so I uploaded, I made it public, and I'm going to be calling it a day soon. It's currently 17 degrees out, and I think it's, yep, it's raining outside. Oh man, it's at that weird angle where it actually goes into the room when you have the window open, so... I'll probably be able to leave it a little bit open like this, but I uh, can't leave it wide open, unfortunately. You can hear the rain, it's pretty loud. Gotta love it when you get a whole bunch of VIP points, so you can just quickly get an $80 set for $5.64 Canadian. I got an email, and I'm 99% sure that it is a uh, bot that sent it, and that it wasn't handwritten. It was basically showing, like, I mean, if you look at the writing of it, it's uh, in parentheses is the only time that the username is mentioned, and the rest of it is uh, poor English grammar, which, I mean, to be fair, my English grammar isn't that good, but it's like, hello, sir, are you there, and stuff like that, and so I think think that this is a bot thing it's not necessarily a scam thing but it's more so a bot thing and i'm just 
I, I, I don't know if I should respond to it because if I respond, then that human might get on it. And I've had problems with that before of just trying to stop the conversation. But then they sent a photo of video scores and stuff like that. And I'm not trying to boost my channel too much um, right now. In the future, I might. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to respond to this or anything like that because I'm not looking at it. And also, if you uh, look at, where was it? Um, I can't remember where I saw it. Um, one second, let's look here. Oh yeah, professional digital marketer. So if that is really the case, then it would probably be very pricey to go along with this. And I'm not looking at spending a pile of money right now. So I'm probably going to ignore this, but I might take, t take some tips from uh, some of this stuff. Yogurt time! I'm now back at the work area. Um, no one's coming down to snack parts today, but that's fine. They got Cairo today. And so then I am going to be getting another advantage with the listing of the parts because I'll be able to shrink the pile without more being added. So I'll work on these guys. It doesn't seem like much. It's a tiny stack, but this is going to take many hours, most likely, to list. What is this? Um, this is not Lego. Okay, well, my dad sorted these by color, and these, uh, I guess he thought were a color, but if you look at it closely, you can see these are, like, mega blocks and stuff like that, so that I don't want to even keep around. So this just goes in the garbage real quick. Watch those be, like, super rare mega blocks parts or something like that. But, um, then I'll get to work on these guys. Four colors, I guess I would have listed all the others already. And then after this, there is the 1x4 tiles, which, although I don't think I'll be able to get to today, and if I do, I wouldn't be able to get that many of them done, uh, I will put right here, uh, just so that I don't have to reach over there. But it's a Thursday today, if I'm remembering correct, so that means I have to pull orders tonight, so I'll just grab the cart, and then put this over here, so that I can pull orders um or remember to pull orders later tonight so then i'll work on that then i am running a bit low on drawers again so i'll have to also top up on drawers so i'll just quickly get my setup there's a i think that's just a floof there yeah in person it looked uh, more like a floof in the video it looked like a spider but thankfully it wasn't a spider so i'm running low on drawers there so all i have to do is figure out where i stopped last time it was right around here so then i just grab a whole bunch of empty drawers i can't take them with my uh hands right now because i've only got one hand available because i'm holding the camera but then i just basically see if the drawer is super full or not and these ones here look decently full so i'll leave those and then i'll just take these drawers back and put them on top over here with the other ones and then i'll just use those when listing parts so i have something to put them into Currently, uh, I've tried checking them for damage now, and I've decided that it, even though it's going to be an absolute pain, and this one looks like a different color. This, not, yep, this is not actually Lego. You can see, I'll put it down. The color is slightly different there. So this is actually Mega Bloks, so that's garbage over there. Uh, but for these ones, I figured out that the only way I can think to do it is to check each side individually. I can't really stack these because they'll just fall off. I'll try to see if I can stack like three or four of them and use pressure to keep them together and check them like that. But then basically I have to check each of the four sides individually and then check the top. And then I can put it in the good container if it's good. And I'm going to have to do that individually for, well, there's got to be at least i don't know a thousand of these things uh might be an underestimate maybe closer to 1500 but on top of that i also have to check to see if it's the uh let me get it up with groove or without groove version of the tile and 99 percent of them are going to be with groove but i'm gonna have to try to keep an eye out for the ones without groove oh look how nasty this one is that's why you pour them out or look at them in the container to just try and find the nasty ones so you can throw them out as you work. So this is going to definitely take a very long time. I'm starting at 3.19 p.m. And I'll just see how much of this stuff I can get done today. I wouldn't be surprised if this takes me all day. Even the one by four tiles are easier. And oh yeah, and these ones here, um, sometimes they'll even be cracked on one of the sides. So you have to look out for that as well and stuff like that. But one day closer to being able to part out only new stuff. 
So the good news is that my package has now been released from customs and it's uh, in pr being processed in Quebec now. Um, so that means it should be here within a day or two. Canada Post is usually pretty fast with international things once they pass uh, inspection and stuff like that. Because usually they get uh, a uh, express post uh, shipping label put on them. And so that's usually just one or two day delivery, which is almost standard for Americans. But in Canada, that's... Uh, abnormal slash faster than average usually it takes between like three five to five days to get a package unless it's like within the same city or province um but yeah then i decided it uh where's the temperature i thought i saw the temperature here i don't know what the exact temperature okay it's 13 degrees right now and so i am going to open the window because there is also a nice breeze and then this saturday i am most likely going to vacuum the basement again i do it on saturdays because that's when the vacuum's out because then we vacuum other floors and then uh once every couple of weeks or whenever i remember if i'm being honest i vacuum the basement because i don't vacuum it every week because i no, I don't feel like doing it every week, if I'm being honest. And so then I'll try to do it this week because it's been getting some more dust. Like you can start to see piles of dust and stuff like that in the corners. And so whenever I remember and see those, then I think, okay, I should probably vacuum. And then I'll also I'll vacuum the windowsill because not sure if you can see it, but the windowsill is just covered in spiders. I know last time I vacuumed that windowsill, the largest spider I've seen in my entire life crawled out of there. So um as long as i didn't uh vacuum there there's no problem so definitely gonna need someone to make sure that spider isn't back there because that was a terrifying spider it was like massive i mean compared to the ones you guys have in the states for the most part it was relatively small but up here in canada we don't really have big insects for the most part and it was just like big it was like um where's the reference i can use um let's see here i'd say the size of this bottom of the cup here which is quite tiny compared well not even that size but about this big uh the red part here um it's quite tiny compared to a lot of them that you guys have but over here that thing was just massive i've never seen anything of that size so i'm just happy that it was a one-off occasion but i'm not going to be the one who vacuums that windowsill because there could be another one there but uh yeah hopefully that's not there so i am going to continue working on these one by one tiles and you can probably hear it and now the airplane's taking off um there's something i thought i was gonna say oh yeah um these ones here most people agreed that there there's two of them there's another one in there um that it isn't a major misprint so i'll probably list these things on ebay um as a misprint start an auction at like 20 bucks or something like that even if it sells for 20 bucks i won't be uh really getting anything significantly less than i would on bricklink and it has potential to go higher you never know so if you're interested in that i'll probably post a link in either this vlog or the next vlog whenever i actually get around to listing these things um for when that ends actually i might start the auction on saturday because saturdays is the most active ebay time and so if the auction ends on a saturday then that would be optimal so i'll just leave that there oh uh, wait could i do 10 day listings i don't remember if ebay has that anymore they have like seven day five day three day two day uh auctions i don't remember if they still have or ever had like 10 day auctions so i'll just try to remember to do that on saturday and in the meantime i'll just get back to listing one by one tiles and watching really random shows so it's been updated again and it's now in transit so the question is how fast can presumably a truck but then again it, you never really know it could be a plane but almost guaranteed a truck uh get from montreal quebec to brampton you would think it might be non-stop because uh brampton's a rather large area and montreal's a massive plant i believe uh, for Canada Post, because everything, I guess, seems to go through there. So you'd think that they would have a truck, at least one truck, for Brampton, and so might have a non-stop truck from Quebec, or, I mean, it's technically pronounced Quebec, um, all the way from Quebec to Brampton. So let's actually see Google Maps. Uh, let's quickly type this in. How long to drive? I mean, I could just open up Google Maps, but uh, that's too much work. How long to drive from Montreal to Brampton? And type that in. Surprisingly, a lot less spelling mistakes than I thought. So it's about a six-hour drive from Montreal to Brampton. So... 
It could be here tomorrow. I'm not going to get my hopes up. Um, but the other thing is I still haven't gotten an email saying I owe X amount of dollars in duties. And so far, whenever I get these slow shipments from Germany, I haven't had to pay import on it. I don't know why sometimes it's determined officially anything over $20 gets hit with import costs. But it is super inconsistent. I'm not going to complain about it. If the government decides it doesn't want me to pay taxes on something, then I won't pay taxes on it. And it's gone through the entire process and everything like that. So we'll see how long till it gets here. Does it go through the states? That that, that is that the border right there? Because uh, Portland and Vermont, that's America, I'm pretty sure. And this kind of looks like the border. And it kind of looks like it's going through the border. But that wouldn't make any sense. Or is that the river? No, that's got to be the border. Huh. Who knows? But hopefully it'll get here by tomorrow. If it does, I can show it on the vlog. And if it doesn't, then I probably can't. Until, because tomorrow's Friday, the last business day. And so then it'd be Monday would be the next earliest delivery day. So it's either tomorrow or three or four days from now. Just in case anyone was curious, this is the cracks you have to keep an eye out for on these one by one tiles. You can kind of see a line right there i'm going to just make it a bit easier grab one second i just set my phone down for a second i'll just grab a plate so that it can show a little bit better oops i accidentally cut the video right there but i put it back on now and you can see the crack on the tile so you have to keep an eye out for that it's a little bit more obvious when it's on the plate but this here is what it looks like when it's not on the plate so you have to keep an eye out for that on all these tiles and yeah it takes a while but I am getting a decent amount done now. I'll show the time once I'm finished with these. It took a while, but I'm getting through these slowly but surely. It's now 4.30 p.m. and I just finished the white one by one tiles. Yeah, I'm taking a lot longer than most people would, but, uh, but the BrickLink forms have been crazy today, so... Um, I finished those. I'm probably going to do the dark blue gray, and I'm presuming that dark gray is still mixed in here. Yeah, I can see a dark gray. Oh, oh this thing's just destroyed. Put that in the garbage. And then the light gray and light blue gray, and then the red. So I will need one more container, uh, overall for these, because if there's two of them that have two different colors in them, I'll need two separate containers. So then I'll just grab that, put that there, and then I'll start on the next one. Got that dreaded email. They decided to charge me taxes on it. So it's $114.68 and I can pay it online or in person. But the thing is, if I pay it in person, then the local post office delivery person is supposed to go to your door, collect the tax, and then that's that. Except the one that delivers in my area never actually goes to our door and just every single time without fail leaves a slip saying, oh, uh, you weren't there to collect it, so you have to go to your local post office the next day and then drive out to that post office and then pick it up in person and then pay there. Like, I don't know why they never do it at the door. Um, but yeah, it's just always irritating that they never actually bring it to our door. So either we pay online uh, for the few times they actually send it to us before that's out for delivery, or we have to go to the post office to pay in person and it's a lot more complicated that way. Just paid for the duties and taxes now. You guys are lucky in the States. I think you guys have a, I might be wrong on this, but it's either 600 or maybe $2,000. I can't remember uh, minimum before you guys actually get hit with duties and taxes for international imports. But officially in Canada, it's 20 bucks. But luckily it's not every item over 20 bucks, but officially it's supposed to be. It's now 5.30 p.m. and I just finished the red one by one tiles. I did have the tax thing, which took a few minutes and I was doing something else, can't remember what. And so it took a while, but I'm done that now. And I'm now onto the dark bluish gray and light bluish gray and the dark gray and dark, no, and dark gray and light gray. So I'm first going to separate the two because uh, my hand's getting a bit cramped up from holding and turning these tiny tiles four times, or actually five times, because you have to turn um, from this side to this side to this side to this side to the top, which is fine for one or two, but when you do it hundreds of times back to back, your hands cramp up real fast. So I'm going to first separate the light gray and the dark gray from the dark blue gray and the light blue gray using a yellow tray from over here. So I'll grab one of these guys and then I'll separate these and hopefully my hands will be a bit better by then. 
A piece of advice for anyone who's currently staring at a pile of one by one tiles. Don't. Just throw them out, take the high road. Don't be like me who has to list them all because I just feel like I have to list them all. It'll save your brain from ceasing to exist and your hands from arthritis at age 20 or something like that. I don't know, just take the logical choice and uh, just don't list them. It is now 7.25 p.m. and I finished the light bluish gray. I did put the uh, dark gray in the bottom container here and then the suspected light gray on top. I still have to confirm these aren't the faded light bluish gray. But now I have the dark bluish gray. My brain's gonna go numb before I'm done with this, but at least it's the last one. And my brain's gonna go numb. I don't know how I did it, but it's 8.30, and I finally finished the one-by-one one tiles. Thankfully, I will hopefully never have to do this again for the rest of my life, but uh, finished with these. If I find any more containers over there somewhere, unless they're Mayersk Blue or something like that, they are all just going to end up like these filler parts right here, and just have that done to them, because I honestly would never have the willpower to do that again. I spent, like, what uh four five six i don't know how many hours just staring at one by one tiles my brain is mush basically and i haven't checked these ones for damage yet but there's only a few so i'll check them when i list them but i'm finally done checking these for damage it's now 8 59 p.m just finished listing the one by one tiles in all the different colors and including the dark gray and light gray I filled up one container or one drawer well i mean it's mostly full i'm trying to fill drawers a little bit less full lately and then i've got a couple more in this one here and then i put the light gray and dark gray in that one over there so i'm now going to pull orders and i don't know if i'll tackle a couple of the smaller containers of the one by four tiles i might since those are way less uh difficult than the one by one tiles those ones you can actually hold in your hand without getting off the right is by holding it basically and or arthritis isn't the word i'm looking for i don't think can't think of the word basically um where your hands go numb basically holding it because it's in repetitive motion um i can't remember what it's called but there's a name for it uh office workers usually get it feels like you get when you hold one by one tiles but um don't get that with one by four tiles so that's nice so i'll pull orders now real quick and then I'll see how much time I have left. I probably will take a break tonight because I don't think I can work till 11 o'clock tonight. I just need a break because this stuff is mind numbing like crazy. But hopefully I'll never have to see another used one by one tile in bulk again. I do have a couple sets that like I do plan to list all the uh sorted categories so like all the two buys all the slopes the round and stuff like that and in general most of these containers i'll probably end up selling by the pound not all of them I and mean, some of them are also somewhat sorted so i'll just combine them with others but i still do have a decent amount of sets i've got a whole bunch in here over there and i'm pretty sure there oh yeah there's some up here uh and i think there might be more in one of the containers here but these are basically mostly complete sets um that i'll probably still end up parting out well i thought i needed a creeper i couldn't remember um but i will probably still part these guys out and but since they're mostly adult owned and in generally good condition i won't have to check each piece individually i'll just use the default remarks of used condition may have minor damage for those things so that'll be nice uh, to list those but i'll just start pulling orders now i do want to first get the ebay order that i got from upstairs so i'll probably cut to that clip now let's quickly grab the one thing that was sold from the ebay room uh should be right on top here it was the flow of time to morton's hockey card paid two bucks but realistically i don't know if you can say i paid two bucks because i did buy like 20 packs at two bucks a piece well the first one was only a dollar so most of them at two bucks a piece and i mean i probably will still sell a couple of the others whenever i get around to listing them they're still over there i think and but this here gets, it was 25 bucks plus tax and shipping. So all in, they paid just over $30 for this card. It's always nice to sell a couple of these sand blue hands. Just sold two more hands for $5.04. So they're in 6102. So just open up the drawer, grab one hand, grab two hands, and just put them in the drawer. I think I've sold probably close to a dozen of these guys now. 
um, at about two and a half dollars a piece. So that's always nice when I sell a couple more of them because I got 207 left to go. I got a whole bunch of um, the one CMF that had the sand blue hands, the scorpion mummy pharaoh thing or something like that. And so then I just took all the hands off and separated them from the arms and then listed all those and they sell every now and then because they're also on some more difficult to find minifigures so it's overall decent seller just finished pulling the orders had um three orders on ebay this was technically two separate orders but as the same buyers i refunded on shipping on the one and combined it um then i had four orders on bricklink not on brick owl sales are still slow but that's expected as i am still aiming towards not wanting high sales until i have all the used stuff listed so that's all right with that and now i am not going to be tackling any of these large containers tonight because it's already 9 30 and i'm only working for about a half hour more but i am going to start work on some of these smaller containers so pretty much anything with too significant of a quantity i'll just leave on the side so i'll leave these guys i'll tackle these ones first and then i'll see if i can get one or two of these smaller ones listed here just finished the one by four tiles in dark green green transparent uh white or clear i don't know why i always tell transparent clear transparent white um transparent red medium blue I think I said dark green, and I just finished checking them for damage to dark red. This is my filler so, filler so far, and as is typical with dark red, it is one of the worst colors for quality. And so then these are the good ones. This here is what's left, so I'll just put these guys back on the stack and put them back over there. And then I'll throw these guys into the garbage over there and then count these guys up and get this stuff listed. And then I'll be calling it a day. It's 9.57 p.m. And I almost forgot that the name I couldn't remember what it felt like when checking one by one tiles for damage is carpal tunnel syndrome. That's the word I was looking for. To come to think of it, I don't think I actually showed my new background. At first, when I switched the, got the new monitor, I first had a um, forest with red trees or something like that. But then I ended up deciding I'm going to switch it to this one. So it's this nice dual monitor. I think it said it was from the Destiny game. Um, I haven't actually played it, so I wouldn't know for sure. But it uh, overall looks pretty cool, I, I'd say. And since it's a live wallpaper, it's got like the solar breeze um, and possibly some asteroids and stuff like that. So overall, it looks pretty cool. Currently, it is five degrees out tonight. Last night, I thought I could keep the window open a little bit because um, I thought the rain was at a better angle where it was in the entering room, but it started switching up. And throughout the, just before I was going to bed, it kept going into the room, but I don't think it's raining tonight. Let me listen. Nope, just wind. So I can keep the window open a bit tonight for some nice breeze. Just woke up and finished breakfast, woke up a bit later. So I finished breakfast and I looked at the time and it's yogurt time already. So it's yogurt time now. Yogurt time. Unfortunately, if it'll focus, let's see. Okay, there. Um, it arrived at the local branch just before our, uh, just after our local delivery person went out because we got mail today, but that was not in the mail and it's not out for delivery. So since it's a Friday, that means I won't get it today on Friday. I won't get it on Saturday. I won't get it on Sunday. I'll have to wait all the way till Monday now in order to get it, but that's fine. And it says label correction applied. So I'm assuming that means since it uh, did have all the labels saying it needed duties and taxes to be paid, but I paid that now. So they've now changed that. Uh, so hopefully that's just what that means and it's not anything that I need to be worried about. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that's all good there. And so it arrived at 5 a.m. in Mississauga. So that took like, um, almost 12 hours. Oh wait, no. Yeah, about 12, well not quite 12 hours. If that was at 5, oh actually yeah, like if it left Montreal, I believe it was about 3 p.m. So that took about 17 hours to get, oh wait, no, 14 hours. I'm bad at math right now. Um, to get from Montreal to Mississauga, which is really close to Brampton. And then from, it was processed in Mississauga, then it went to Brampton. It's not a three hour distance between Mississauga and Brampton. Um, so it just sat there for a little bit. But yeah, that took a lot longer than expected. But unfortunately, I won't be getting it today. So this, that won't be out in this vlog. It'll probably be out in the next vlog. I've now had the helmet added to the Bricklink catalog along with the 
main, the smaller torso part and the larger torso part. So yeah, this is the color difference that I had because of the lighting issues. Normally it would be two like this uh, in this color, but this one here because the hands uh, kept disappearing because I had a black background. Uh, I had problems. I hope to be able to fix that sometime in the future. I just didn't, I was only working with a little bit of space, no real setup or anything like that. So that's what it ended up with that. So now I just added the torso to the inventory and I added the helmet to the inventory. And so now I just got the torso or was it the other way around? Yeah, I added the torso. So then I just go to the edit inventory. Then I part, put in the part number, quantity and color, and then I click add item. And now the inventory for this minifigure in the uh, pending area has all the correct parts. You can see the legs, torso, head, helmet, legs, torso, head, helmet, and these are all the correct versions. So then I can go to the notes and say, and just write in ready, and then I can click submit changes. And so then on the admin side, they'll see that the inventory is ready and then they can confirm it and stuff like that and then approve it once they're able to, I have time, and then that'll be all good. And so then the other thing that I can do now is I'll go, uh, open link a new tab, then go market, then go add inventory, then go parts, then manual part add, then go number of entries because you need three for a torso because then you copy the torso ID. Oh wait, I clicked, I entered the wrong number. Um, you need three for this. So then uh, you enter that one in and then it'll automatically pre-fill the arms. And then you just need to make sure you grab the torso. Because if you look at torso inventories on Bricklink, it's not left arm, right arm, hands. It's left and right arm pair, um, and then hands. So yeah, it's uh, left arm, uh, arms pair, and hands pair. So then I just need to enter the uh, torso number, and then I go to the color ID of white, and then the arms. If you look at the torso in this page, the arms on it are also white. So then it says here, arms pair, and then that's also that. And then if you look at the torso, the hands are black. So then I confirm uh, black is code 11. So then I enter it 11. Then this is from sealed set content. So I go to verify items. Then I can see that this torso here is made up of the base torso, the matching uh, white left and right arms, and then two black hands. And then I just go, uh, wait, I, should, I forgot, I should just write here. Uh, ready with an exclamation mark. That's just what I do. I, I think I read that on a couple other pending items and I've just write ready as well now because I think that they like that uh, just so that they know it's ready for approval and then I can go there and then I can check to see over here. I can click on new inventories. This is my pending area and then this minifigure inventory is now pending and then this torso inventory is now pending. And then if you look over here, I had add relation is what I titled two different save things. So I've got the helmet and the torso. So I'll just start with the helmet real quick. Uh, you can see this helmet here is the old one and it's already in a relation with this helmet. So these helmets look relatively similar. So you can add a relation in the catalog so that if someone finds this one, they can see, oh, there's this similar item. Uh, I need to confirm I have the right variant and then or version and then they can check other similar ones. And then if you look, the new one is also quite similar to some of the uh, old ones. Um, if you look here, these are just gray and these here are black. That was the main difference that I could find. And so now what I'm going to do quickly is if you see here, there's no add relation to the catalog. So I'm going to quickly add a relation for these parts. So I'm going to go to market, uh, add relations or relationships, and then similar, uh, same items with similar patterns. And if you look here, these ones here are already in a relation. So uh, in order to add something to it, you need the relation ID. So what I like to do is I like to copy the part number, then I just paste it in one of the spots there, and then I just click add relation, and then it'll give me the match ID right here. So 4020, um, and then you just uh, change this out. That's an old one, I think. So then I just switch that to 4020, and then I grab my new one over here, copy that, paste this here, just confirm it's the right one, PB19, Yep, and then uh, existing match number, and then it's a part, and then I go to add relation, and that should add it once it's approved, and then it will get approved, and then this thing will um, also be in the related items category. Uh, sometimes it'll be collapsed on your Bricklink, so if you wanna see more, you can click expand, or if you wanna hide it, just uh, select collapse. And so that'll be done now, and now I can go ahead and 
delete this one and then I'll do the same for the torso and not only for the torso uh, here but then also for this part of the torso as well had a couple more sales uh, overnight. And so the eBay ones, I had two Ninjago minifigures, NJO47 and NJO91. The other one is a, I believe it's Kai Techno Robe. So we need to quickly find where's Kai Techno Robe. Nope, that's Jungle Robe. Um, just look for red, basically. It's not that one. Um, uh, nope, that's not it either. Is this it? Yep, Techno Robe right here. So just sold these two on eBay to the same buyer. So this can get packed up as well today. I got the envelope for the hockey card since hockey cards are thin enough to actually go letter mail with one stamp. So it costs about uh, around about a dollar plus tax or somewhere around there um, for these guys. So that's good um and a bit cheaper can't do that with lego because this stuff gets put through a machine uh which is fine if you're sending a singular hockey card or something like that but it's not really something you want to do with uh lego whatsoever because although it might go through once or twice it's uh most likely going to just completely destroy what's that, whatever is inside and you're not supposed to send uh toys and stuff like that cards and card stock is allowed as far as i know and that's literally how everyone sends it um, so you're not gonna really have any issues with that. Although if it is like a relic card or something like that, you would still want to ship it in a bubble envelope. So, it, uh, if I do sell any relic cards, I probably still will ship them in some bubble envelopes just to be on the safe side. I don't, as you can optionally put some additional protection around this, but it should be fine. It's going, it's in a penny sleeve in a top loader with masking tape on top, going to be put inside of a, uh, envelope. So it shouldn't have any problems there. And so then I'm going to quickly pull the uh, Brick Owl and the Brick Link order that I had last night that were paid for. So I'll do that real quick. And then once I'm done that, it'll be time to pack up orders. Just realized I haven't really checked in. Uh, I'm not sure if at all today or at least not since I started listing. But I am currently listing the 1x4 tiles. Just got back down from supper. I'll turn the light back on. Check these ones here for damage. I did ship a whole bunch of things out today, so that's why not much is done yet. I think I got back from shipping things out, out at around 4, and I think I started around 4.30 listing again. And so I got those ones over there done, and this here is the filler so far, and then I'm currently working on the red. Still have the black, dark, bluish gray, and there is still dark gray mixed in here. Um, my sister came down and stacked uh, several more containers of parts. I know it was these ones here, but it might have also been something else from there. I can't say I remember, but uh, once I'm finished these one by four tiles here, there's going to be no small containers left on the to list pile. So that is going to be amazing. So that means once this stuff is done, since it's currently only 647 p.m., I should hopefully be able to get one container from here listed tonight. I don't know which one yet. Definitely not the top one. Um, but I might be able to get one of those containers listed tonight, which would be amazing. And so then I think I explained it before, but I'm going to list all of these guys here before I start on the new small containers. And then the pile over here is shrinking as well. It's getting quite small now. Um, so yeah, then this here is what's... Uh, got to be stacked and then once it's stacked here it goes there and so I list it that stuff list this stuff then list the stuff from here once it gets stacked and sorted and then after that stuff on the table there is done then I'm going to work on the stuff on the floor over here and then after the stuff on the floor over here is done going to work on the stuff over here and once this stuff is done I'll work on the Technic stuff over here um, I don't know if I'll end up doing a little bit of the Technic before I do all of the plates from over here. I'm not entirely sure yet. Uh, the good thing is some of these boxes, not all of them, but some of them aren't completely filled up to the top. I'll try and get a better camera angle there. I couldn't see the camera, so I don't know if that's a good angle, but these containers aren't necessarily filled to the brim. And there's no one by ones there's no one by 2s one by 3s one by 4s well, one by fives were just released, so there's none of those in here. And um, the smallest one is the two by two corners, um, and then it's two by twos and up from there. But most of the end, actually, did I get the two by threes listed? Um, I'm looking. I'm not seeing any. Yeah, I think I did end up listing. Oh, yeah, the uh, they're over here. So, yeah, I did end up listing the two by threes already. So there is um some listed from here already i thought i had already listed these guys but i guess i missed a container or i just haven't gotten to them yet like i thought i did 
Um, but yeah, that's just a quick progress update. And so then, yeah, there's still a lot of stuff left to, left to list before I can get uh, to a new only store. But another day and more progress is being made. Just got a little bit of help with stacking the 1x4 tiles. Now basically, five were put on a stack. Um, I mean, it's not going to be an actual stack that I'm showing here. But basically something uh, like this here. But all of them were facing the correct way if I can get it with one hand. It's quite difficult with the camera. Okay, but basically imagine just like a stack like this, five tall, all facing the proper way. And then I would just check them for damage. And then there's just a pile here, check for damage. And then choose between if it's garbage or normal use condition. And then put it here. So all the one by four tiles are now done. Finish the dark blue, gray, and the black after supper. And the red, I believe it was. Um, now I'm going to tackle one of these containers. The time is currently 8.16 p.m. So I've got about an hour, 45 minutes. I might have time to do another container, a uh, large container after this. I don't know yet. Might just get it ready in preparation just in case I can do another container because I honestly don't remember how long it'll take for these. These are some of the smaller containers. There's the reddish brown and the blue 1x4 uh, plates and they were generally pretty small but they'll still take some time and I still do have to list and count all the 1x4 tiles. So I'll see if I have time for that. Otherwise, it'll just be checked for spiders and then I'll get around to listing it tomorrow. But then tomorrow, most likely, I'll end up listing the 1x4 in blue, the 2x3 in dark bluish gray. And I'll only be able to put a couple of those in filler. Because uh, as you can see, the filler container for 2x3s is pretty full. But I can probably fit like 50 more dark bluish gray filler in there. So if I can fit them in there, then I'll list a couple of them as filler still. Like after I check them for damage, but then the rest I'll probably just throw out. Because I'm not going to get another container for just 2 by 3 plate filler and so then I should be able to get at least two for sure uh, of those containers done tomorrow. I'm hoping for three or four at least and the one by one will just stay for a while probably be the last of those containers that I do because it'll be like a home run stretch because it'll have been the very end of all of those containers but all these small containers on that side have been done now which is really good and so then I'll list these guys here and here and then I'll work on some of these and then and possibly the 1x4 blue. Just finished checking the 1x4 uh, reddish brown place for damage. These are the damaged ones. These are the good ones. So I just got the scale on in the container. So I'll clear it and tear it a few times. Then I can't remember if I'm supposed to press this first. I don't think I have to, but I sometimes do, sometimes don't. And then I just go 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, and 10. So then 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Then type in 10, and then just double check, triple check, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, perfect. And then I've got container number 1, and container number 2, and these are the normal used condition ones. Just put this container up here real quick, so there's 351, I'll just go for 335 over here, so then I'll quickly bag these up. And the plates are now bagged up, so I'll put them in the box and turn the scanner back on and scan that. Then press enter and confirm that everything's right. 335, 8 cents a piece, minor damage, box 167. That looks all good to me, so add to inventory. Then go back here and go to color info, then not applicable. And then get this box back over here. I have to list the brown still. Um, so that's over there. That's close enough. There. Okay, so then there's 270. I'll just go for 260. Um, so then 260 plus 1094. So 260 plus 1094. Um, yep, that's 260, 1094. Yep. Alrighty, and so then that was 1354. So I'll just change that to 1354. Perfect, and that goes to box 157, which is over here. So I'll move these, grab this, bring it over here, pop the lid off, and dump these guys inside. So that's all good now, and I was only able to get the one done tonight. I am going to just call it a day slightly earlier than normal. Currently, it's 9.34 p.m. I'm still going to do a couple things. I probably will first create the listing for these guys on eBay for the auction. So I'll, I probably won't have a link for it in this vlog, but I might drop a link 
uh, for what it might be. I don't know if I can do it for an upcoming auction because this will probably start tomorrow night around 6 p.m. if I'm thinking uh, right for the misprint ones. And so then I'll work on that then. But then I'll try to get the uh, listing created tonight. But I'll set the auction for then. But I think that I, I'll have to see if there is a um, link that I can still copy. If so, that'll be uh, probably the first comment in the description or just in the description. I don't know what I'll do um, for that. So I'll list these guys now and then I'll just move things around, clean things up a bit. Just finished creating the listing for the uh, minifigures. Started at $19.99 Canadian, two and a half dollars shipping to Canada, seven and a half to the States. The auction should start at, um, the eBay time things is really confusing. It showed it was GMT-4. Now it says EDT, but we live in EST for time zone, I think. Yeah, Eastern Standard. So I don't know if that's another form for Eastern Standard. I, I mean, I could, I could Google it up real quick, but that'd be too much work. Um, so then I've now created uh, the listings and then this can get a slightly, actually, I'll just zoom in here. Uh, misprint. I mean, it's not the largest misprint in the world, but it still is um, a nice misprint. You can see it's supposed to go straight up the fin, but it is noticeably on the side. And if you see in the other photos, as well as this one's more significant, it goes on. Uh, let me just quickly get one of the photos. Uh, it's better for this one here. You can actually see, I can't enlarge this one. It goes on the, it's printed on the side of the fin as well. So I think overall it's pretty cool. So I'll, uh, since I did manage to create the listing, I will put a link for this in the description and or comments. So if you're interested, uh, check it out. But as it's now break time and I finished listing for the day, I've got two containers over there that I'm going to double check are all good. So then I go to inventory then missing my remarks and go and everything's got their spot so that's good so then i can first put this back up here and then these containers to the side grab these empty drawers i already plugged in the barcode scanner and then bring this over here i've got my two standard containers I've got my amazon small business month coupon i will probably address that in the next vlog but i do want to just use it myself first before i address it because i i'm like 99.9 percent .9 sure it's a uh, universal coupon code but just in case it's not um i'll just use it for some business expense real quick uh but i just to maximize the usefulness of the coupon i first need to save up a little bit in um to make a purchase because I kind of just spent all my money on taxes again, so I'm a bit broke right now. So then I'll focus on that and hopefully, well, I'll, I would be surprised if it's not by next week sometime, I should have enough to make that purchase on Amazon and then I'll address that there a little bit, but it's time to play the Xbox for a bit. Gotta love it when you sell something on eBay and then the buyer messages asking to cancel because they didn't expect there to be tax on it. Like when you make an offer on an item, it shows item price, shipping tax and import fees or whatever and then final total while well, they made an offer i accepted and then they said they want to cancel because they don't want to pay tax so who knows i mean one time on bricklink i had an order and the person didn't want to pay sales tax on it so i had to go through a non-paying buyer process and then they left me feedback saying i left a random charge on their order they I, they messaged me about it several times and everything and then i um explain to them that it was just sales tax and they left negative feedback but thankfully non-paying buyer protects the seller and deletes feedback so at least that didn't stay on my account i think that's the first negative i ever left on bricklink i never even left negative for non-paying buyers but that was the first time i left it for someone on bricklink for reference if you look here when you i just did a test thing here i'm not actually going to place an offer uh, but it says, uh, estimated total, and then a star, applicable sales tax and other charges may be added at checkout. And now that is for everything, basically, in Canada, they have um, sales tax, so yeah, who knows. Currently, it's 9 degrees outside, but I don't think I'll really be opening for the window uh, tonight, at least not much, because it, I think it was open for most of the day, airing out my room, and it's quite chilly in here, so I'll probably just, at most, leave it open just a little bit. Early morning computer freeze, just like every day. Just clicking, nothing's working. Trying to exit the snipping tool from yesterday. Oh, now it's here. This is the thumbnail all for the eBay thing. Will it finally let me exit this? It's thinking about it. Oh, that one's exited, but the new tab is still loading. 
nothing's working. I know clicking more just makes it worse, but who knows? Computer leg. Just used my Amazon Small Business Month coupon, so I'm saving $100 on a order for a couple Lego sets. So yeah, if you have an Amazon business account, I don't know if this qualifies for North America or just Canada or whatever that is, but um, this is 25% off an order of up to $100 with up to... Yeah, up to $100 of savings on your next order of $100 more on Amazon. It looks like a pretty generic promo code. So make sure to use this if you uh, have a business account on Amazon. It's completely free to sign up for a business account. And so I was able to get $100 off an order I just placed. And that uh, order was for some stuff that I probably won't show on the vlog for a while. Um, but it is for Lego, so that's good. And because I got it in an envelope from Amazon in the mail. Because I do technically have an Amazon um, business account still uh yeah i have a business account i was a seller on amazon but it's just too much work so i quit that um but yeah that's good fun so i'm gonna see if i have enough to place a small order on lego still because i do have 45 dollars of vip points and i it's double vip points and do they still have the offers let me check i they might be gone now um they've got the spooky pack but yeah the ray the castaway is gone um but yeah then i might see what i can do with some of this is this out this week um from 10 14 so yeah this year is actually there so i might try to get an order over 125 to get that i see if i can throw in a ninjago thing but there probably isn't really any ninjago stuff i'm looking for right now um so yeah then i'll possibly place an order uh i know what i'll probably want to get oh that's 20 percent off too bad i'm too broke to buy pretty much anything um how many bricks are in here? Four and a half thousand? Yeah, that's quite a few. But yeah, then I'll just see what I can get now. And it probably won't be much, but I'll probably check in when it's, I have it selected. Technically, if you go to offers and scroll down, it says that there's supposed to be the Halloween pack uh, thing still here, if I'm reading that right. But if I go to cart... Um, I just have this promo, and then after that, it's my, uh, the rest of my order, and then if you look over here, it's, uh, there's, it's over the $100 mark, so I can qualify for this one, but I don't get the other one, I don't want to go up, because then now it's spoil what I'm buying, but yeah, I don't know what's with that. I almost forgot to say thank you for watching the vlog if you got this far this is going to be the end of the vlog it's 2 17 p.m i should probably start editing the vlog gotta do some uh voting and stuff today so i will be away from work um for a little while and uh don't forget to use the amazon coupon if you're able to and um there will be a link in the description or comments for the misprint if you're interested and uh, the next vlog should be out on Wednesday so thank you for watching if you got this far